Hi, I'm the Toy Mom, and today we're gonna make a really easy but really cute bracelet with this rainbow loom. Let's open it and start being crafty. With this rainbow loom set, you get instructions, which today you're not gonna need because I'm gonna help you. You're gonna get the loom, a set of rubber bands and lots of nice colors, plenty to do bracelets, the C-clips, and this tool, which I'll explain in detail in just a second. This is the bracelet we're gonna make today. It's called a single loop bracelet. It's really cute and really easy. Let's take a look at the loom. This loom is neat because it comes apart, and since this bracelet only needs two rows, I'm gonna take this row off, and then we'll just be working with these. Now, if you have a crazy loom and wanna make the same bracelet, I've also made a video for that. The tool we're gonna to use for picking up the rubber bands is this hook. This acts like a mini loom if you're making smaller things. These two things are posts. And then this tool is used to take the bottom of the loom apart and change it around. For this single loop bracelet, you're gonna need 26 rubber bands. Now, especially if this is the first time you've made a bracelet, I would recommend highly that you use two colors, a light and a dark. You'll be able to see what you're doing a lot better. The loom, to start out, is going to be pointing this way, and there is an arrow that when I do a close-up, you'll see better, but that arrow needs to be pointing away from you, and that's how we'll start. Now we're ready to put the rubber bands on the loom. I'm gonna start with a white rubber band and put it there. It doesn't matter if I had started with a red, but next I'm gonna alternate and put the red on this post. And then I'm going to take a white and put it there. And now the pattern is starting to become visible. I'm just gonna keep alternating the rubber bands and I will be using every post on the loom to the very end of the loom. This is how the loom should look now that you've placed all the rubber bands on here. You should have one rubber band left over and that one will be used as part of the clasp. Now it's time to turn the loom. And this is important because before we do the picking of the rubber bands, the loom needs to be facing so that the arrow now is pointing toward you and the loom looks like this. Now that we've turned the loom around, it's time to start picking up the rubber bands and taking them over the post to make the loops that we need. I'm gonna take a red rubber band, which is underneath the white rubber band, and pick it up with the hook, bring it around this post, and bring it to this post. Now, notice that during that, I held on to this rubber band so that it wouldn't move. Now, since that was a red rubber band, I know that I'm going to be picking up a white rubber band that's at the bottom, and I'm going to hold these rubber bands down so that they don't come off of this post. Now it's time to pick up a red rubber band and you can use the hook to push the other rubber bands out of the way to get to the one that you want.
It'll take some practice, but you'll get it. Keep picking up the rubber bands just like we have for the looping. Hold down that all the way to the end of the loom. Now it's time to think about finishing your bracelet, but before we do that, let's just kind of recap where we're at. This is where we started the bracelet, and this loop here looks different than these, and that's okay because it's gonna be part of the closing of the bracelet. But as we move down, all the other loops should look the same till you get to the end, and even those look the same. Now it's time to put on the clasp and that's where you get your extra rubber band and you're going to use the hook and go under here. See where I'm at? And you're going to get this rubber band and bring it through here and then you're going to turn it around this is a little tricky. Your little fingers are probably going to do it even better than me. But you pull this part of the rubber band. See that? And you bring it through the rubber band, the other side of it, like that. And you pull. Now you're ready for the clip. This is called a C-clip. Gee, it looks just like a C, doesn't it? And that you put on like that and put your rubber band through it. Now we're going to be ready to pull your bracelet off the loom. Now you're about to get rewarded for all that hard work you put into your cute little bracelet. This is the end right here, let me show you, that has the closure where we put the C-clip and that's the end that you use to start pulling the loops off the posts. Just pull them up and over, kind of like back and forth, back and forth. go. There we have it, our cute single loop bracelet. And you know, even though it's a simple bracelet, it doesn't mean that we can't add a little something extra. So what do you think about adding a charm to this bracelet? I think it'd be a good idea. And to do that, I'm just going to take this rubber band and take it around Mickey Mouse. on, Mickey. You want to be on my bracelet, don't you? Oh, you sure? There we go. And now I have the bracelet and I have Mickey on there. And to put it on someone, I just need to connect the two ends, use that C-clip that we have, and put the other rubber band from the other end through it. And there we go. There's our really cute single loop Mickey Mouse bracelet. Thanks for watching. Now you can watch one of my other loom videos or one of my other videos. My picture is always in the corner like these four examples. And please don't forget to subscribe.